Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another screencast by your earth science teacher Mr. Stano and today we're going to move on to landscape development. Uh, there are a few general types of landscapes uh, and we both and we have these types of landscapes actually within New York. We have mountains, plateaus and plains. So you can see here from the three representative diagrams these would be our mountains right here. Then we have our plateaus, and then we have our plains in this region. So those are the three types of uh, general types of landscapes that we have. And like I said, we have all three of these within New York State, and we're gonna learn the different areas that they're in and a little bit about these in the screencast. The general landscape regions, or can also be called the topography, which we learned way back in the beginning of the year with mapping, uh, which is basically just looking at the different changes in elevation over a different field. We describe landscape regions in a couple of different ways. We look at the height of the hills, shape of the hills, those V-shaped or U-shaped valleys that we talked about earlier on, uh, stream drainage patterns, how the water is flowing over the land, and basically our soil type, rock composition, or bedrock, any one of those will work for that. The first type of landscape region we're going to go into are our mountains. Mountains have a few distinct features that set them apart. First off, they have high peaks and the deep valleys, which most people definitely associate with mountains. They also have steep slopes. And because they have steep slopes, they're going to have a very strong or a very steep stream gradient. So we're going to have that fast moving water. We're also going to see igneous and metamorphic rock, which is actually kind of key to the next one where we'll see folded, faulted, or tilted rock layers. Remember, when we have that buildup of pressure due to plate tectonics, that is going to get our folding, faulting, and tilting of rock, which is closely associated with metamorphic rocks. So we're definitely going to be seeing that type of rock in these regions. Here's the Adirondack Mountains in New York, uh, just looking out off of a peak. And we can see here, these are moving out west and towards the Rocky Mountains. And we can see that once again, we have the steep gradients right here, pretty steep. These nice sharp peaks and definitely those V-shaped valleys as the river flows through. And definitely more here as we see them. Here, once again. We have the steep peaks or steep slopes with that fast moving water working down and going through. And we can also see the steep slopes. Okay, folding is a part of a mountain building process. So once again, those are metamorphic rocks we'll be, we'll be seeing or expecting in these mountainous regions. Moving on to plateaus. Plateaus, they're gonna have the flat or ro rolling hills. They've been subjected um, they are deep cut stream valleys and also horizontal layers of sedimentary rock. So we haven't had that folding and faulting like we did within our mountain regions. And also low elevations are going to be relatively flat. Here is another plateau region and nothing better than this, looking at those flat sedimentary rock layers. Okay, notice more sedimentary rock layers here within this plateau. And once again, here looking towards the Grand Canyon, same thing. Okay, and those nice flat rolling hills that are associated. A little bit difference in climate between the two, but generally the same to, uh, same landscapes. Then moving on to our plains. And here, you can definitely see there's a big difference. Mostly flat with few hills. Been subjected to a huge amount of weathering and erosion within these regions. Um, Horizontal sedimentary rock layers once again and our meandering streams. Remember meandering streams are generally or typically slower moving streams so they've had to move around any obstacles such as the coastal plains like we have here on Long Island. Okay or when you go out towards Florida and the Everglades same thing coastal plains and here's just another coach another beach. These coastal landscapes are going to be affected by waves and currents it's going to be moving. That longshore drift or the littoral current will be moving the sediment up and down those beaches. Also affected by any storms, which are going to change the amount of energy coming in and possibly pull any sediment away. And once again, we have here just another beach. And here's a barrier island. 
Okay. And that's about it for the screencast. Just wanted to introduce you into the three different types of landscapes. We'll save the topography or the landscape, uh, how landscape regions are affected by some of the different factors for next one. Hope you enjoyed the screencast. Take care.